So part of our test run for dyeing the visor on the mask is going to be testing alcohol ink. And that's what Arlene's going to be doing while I work on bicep armor for the uh, for the part of the shoulders, which you've probably already seen. So. Oh, well, looks like it's working. We'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> What's up YouTube? Graven Arlene here and this wonderful video is going to be on transforming this paint ball mask into something that will kind of sort of look like Faux Tracer from Destiny and Destiny 2 I should say. Um, I decided I am going to do a helmet slash mask for the hunter. Um, there have been great health worries I, and concerns i okay he's already sweating with the cape on he's like no nah, i'm not gonna wear the cape because i'll have the helmet on then he's like i'm not i'm going to forego the helmet and have a mask and have the hood up and he was already sweating bullet i'm concerned thankfully i've already put his son on hydration duty because i do not need you collapsing yes i will i will be very careful you need to enjoy yourself I while do. you're there I okay do. you see so funk you know me function yes over all things but <laughs> i actually did get this old a couple of years ago when I first started doing Nerf Wars and stuff because after getting shot in the eye, I wanted some good eye protection. But thankfully, I have my sunglasses now, so this has really been sitting kind of wayside. But the great thing is, though, it fits over my glasses, so I don't have to worry about not, having, not being able to see. Yay, the gift of sight. <laughs> so, we're just going to be modifying this. So, it's going to be like a little bit of foam here to just like kind of cover up my hair and head, forehead um a little bit on the sides your, your, sweet, your, your voice is muffled <laughs> fine then <laughs> so it's going to be up here mm -hmm. a little on the sides and we're also going to tint the visor purple so that it actually does match faux tracer because faux tracer naturally comes with a purple visor so now that one we had a few different ideas uh James found a phenomenal uh, little, I guess not necessarily a gadget, but a tool called uh, by Krylon. It's uh, spray on glass. It's basically paint. stained glass paint. So it's a trans. It would be tr it's for glass, but it's transparent paint. So I thought. However, when he introduced this to me, I'm like, you're supposed to only use it on glass surfaces, and obviously that's acrylic, it's acrylic, not and not glass and that concerned me that it probably wouldn't be able to stick well or right. it just the chemical compound wouldn't be able to stick to non-glass surfaces uh and so i found an alternative which is alcohol ink um it's legitimately made for just staining anything anything that is a non-porous surface so if you use it like on wood or paper yeah so it's acrylic like sands like this and all that kind of stuff so and so we did a little bit of a test run and we got just a random piece of acrylic here. Uh, I don't think you can see it. You can kind of see it. Okay. So I put a couple drops on here and used the... Uh, oh, there we go. Perfect. On the bottom there, I put a couple drops and then I used uh, a stamper um, to kind of spread the ink out. Which but is what they kind of recommended. But it was very streaky, so we ended up using a, reg a regular sponge tool that you find in just about any uh, paint kit. Um, and then we put the drops up here, did one swipe, and it's gorgeous, and it's still very see-through, so he won't be mm -hmm. blinded, especially because he gets to use his glasses underneath it. It just makes everything very purple. Hey, <laughs> it's rose-colored glasses. <laughs> well, wild plum, but still. Wild so, plum. Wild plum glasses. <laughs> I'm very excited to see how this will turn out, because yes. this is a new, uh, a new tool that we have in the, yeah. in the shop, and we'll see what else we can use it for in the future, too. Yeah. Yay. Like certain projects for you, maybe. Possibly. Just saying. Possibly. <laughs> we shall see. <laughs> yes. So we're going to get to work on that, trying to fabricate. Um, as I said, I'm gonna like where I said we're gonna try and cover the top a little bit and the sides a little bit. Leaving uh, the air holes. Leaving the air holes. 
um, covering up the front because I re unfortunately the brand logo here is inset rather than outset so I can't really just sand that off without like really putting a lot of damage on here so we're gonna use some three millimeter and one millimeter foam to try and bulk it out a little bit to make it mo look a little bit more like faux tracer and then do the ink on the front of it and that should be it so we just got to figure out the exact layout we're going to do and just start working on it and after that we're just about done yeah you'll actually get to see it all put together very soon yes and just in time just too. in time well, just, just in time. well if i've learned from anything following cosplayers over the years it's it's not a good project until you work on it last minute oh no hands down <laughs> that that's how i do all my projects exactly hi, hi people from work i get it done prior i promise <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's get to work on that yay all right so i've already used some uh rubbing alcohol and a paper towel just to clean the surface make sure there's no leftover drops of alcohol on it because that's what will dilute the solution and make it all streaky and wonky uh, which is actually good to know because if you accidentally get too much in one spot, rubbing alcohol is the best way just to clean it right up in case this just doesn't work. So, yeah, let's get started. I'm wondering if there's a way to. Do you have something underneath that I can hold it flat? Or take this off? No. But no. kind of well in there. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Do this. Let's, we'll take the pauldron, because that looks like a good height. There we go. Alright, let's see if this works! <laughs> I'm fairly confident. This one's super quick and easy, and if you mess up, just use rubbing alcohol to get rid of the mistakes. <laughs> like even just then, I got a little bit of the purple from the sponge on the tip of that. A little bit of rubbing alcohol came right off the top of the nozzle so it doesn't get all messed up. Oh, good. What? Okay, so... Why, do you need to use that? No, I I, I had kind of thought of something. We, we dyed the visor. Yes. We haven't put any of the things on to it yet. No. Which means at that point I would have to still tape off and spray paint things. Mm hmm Including the visor. Yeah. But thankfully. No, it's fine. It, yeah, it, it's alcohol. It's not going to come off unless it's with alcohol. Solution. I know. I just wanted to make sure. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, mind you, we've only done this test piece maybe 20 minutes before we did this. Tape does not pull it off so if you're like me and then all of a sudden have a panic attack and go oh wait we're gonna have to tape all of this off and stuff you don't have to worry about it once it's dry it's good to go until unless you put rubbing alcohol on it and that's that's literally the only eraser but at least there's an er okay so what i have now gone and done is i've cut out a couple of three millimeter foam pieces to kind of attach to the paintball mask. I have this piece that's going to go along the side to cover up some of my face and also go a little lower down. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I have this piece covering here, which I've also mirrored, so we'll go on the other side. And for at least the cap portion of it, while I don't think it's like the greatest thing, Arlene's given me an okay on it. 
It's just to really cover the top of my head, which is going to be covered by the hood anyway, so this is just going to be kind of like blocker more than it anything like else. Gift. So what we're going to do is I'm going to glue this to the rim here, just using some regular uh, super glue. Glue these to the back here along this ridge and this side. And then once those are set, I'm going to start working on a nice piece of three millimeter foam to cover the front portion of this and then put like one millimeter embellishments on it to just kind of make it look a little not as flat type of thing. So I'm gonna work on that now. Okay, so here is the finished mask that I will be using at GamerCon. Yes, this looks nothing like what you just saw me working on. And there is good reason for that. Um, while I was trying to figure out how to do all of the three millimeter foam on the other mask to try and get it to fit right and lay right, and also how not for it to look like total crap, I was, I was having issues and I was just getting frustrated with it because... It, in my head it looked one way but when I kept trying to build it it was looking a totally different way so I decided screw it I'm going to cut my losses I actually found this mask on Amazon I'll throw a link in the description down below if you would be interested in getting it for yourselves um, it's not an affiliate link I'm not getting anything for it it's just solely going to be there for if anyone does want it and not have to go searching uh, but what I did with this is the visor was tinted again, uh, which Arlene did. She We didn't refilm it because it was basically the exact same way we did the first one that you did just see. So, same thing. One thing we did find out, though, is if you are using the sponge brush to put on the um, the dye that we were, like we did, don't reuse a brush because we were actually having some pooling issues that it wasn't putting it on right and I was like did you try a different brush did you try a different brush totally fine so who knows either way um the color for the mask is a nice gunmetal this was originally black uh, I put the gunmetal on it to ma to better match the armor um and my knife and even like bits and pieces of the scout rifle that I have the silver on here for this little front grill and for the visor that is to kind of accent the one shoulder pauldron I have along with the little bits on the uh, chest plate as well. So this way, again, everything is all thematic. I have kind of pretty much the same shader on everything. So, and the good thing is this part actually did come off very easily. There's just little tiny plastic rivets inside the mask that came off and went back on extremely easily. Um, I could not get the visor off, so the way I did that one was I just took really thin cardboard, uh, kind of shoved it under here, and then I took a plastic bag and just shoved it basically under this entire little ridge back here, and then just spray painted it silver. So, Which is also why, if you may look, the underside isn't colored, but again, it's the underside of the mat. It's the underside of it. You're really not going to see it too much. Uh, I can see out of this visor as well. It is a little streaky, but at a distance, it looks totally fine, which I am totally fine with. Um, and also, yes, it does fit with my glasses, so I can put it on, not have any problems with my glasses, so I can still see 100% out of it, no problem. The only thing I had to do was on the inside, and I even did this on the old paintball mask too, Right here, I just had to cut out the little bit of foam because while it didn't interfere with my glasses going on, whenever I took the mask off with those on, it would pull my glasses off. So that I wasn't going to be doing, especially if I'm going to be taking it on and off during the um, during the convention. I don't want to have to keep taking it off, fish out my glasses, put my glasses on. Someone say, hey, can I get a picture? Okay, put it back on, fish it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it was it's just a time saver and you can't even tell through the visor anyway that anything is different on the inside it also is a very comfortable mask as well uh 
very good amount of foam uh, padding right around the eyes and even a little bit on the sides which is also very nice which actually the other one did not have all right so that's it for this video uh this weekend is going to be GamerCon, which i'm very very excited about finally get to put all this together and actually walk the uh, convention floor very excited uh so if you happen to be at GamerCon this weekend in cherry hill new jersey come by and say hi to me uh, <laughs> I'm not going as a guest. I'm going as myself. Believe me, I'm not popular enough to be guesting anything. Um, but I will also have a follow-up video that will actually have my full build while I'm wearing the full costume, head to toe. Mask, hood, cloak, everything. Um, I may also have some footage from GamerCon if anyone's going to be interested in it just to see what the local convention is like. Uh, there are going to be a couple of you know, internet famed people there. Um, I know, did you know gaming is going to be there? And I think that's actually pretty cool. Cause I followed their channel for quite some time and it's always nice to learn the little intricacies about video games. I'm getting off on a rant here. So again, thank you everyone for watching this video. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, throw me, throw us a like and subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the new mask as opposed to the old mask. Uh, also, what you thought of the build so far and the progress that we have done on it. And again, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.